get up at 10 works. Like, he's always throwing them signs in my face. So, like I say, I played trumpet from third grade to middle school. Right. I stopped at middle school because you had to get up at 10 o'clock and go to the football games. And I I did not want to – I felt like that was lame. Like, yeah. I'm not going to be in the trumpet. I want to be up there with my buddies and the girls. You know, about, you know, half time, we turn. A lot of extracurricular activities end up – by the wayside, yeah. once once dudes want to be cool and kick yeah. with girls and so, be on some fun so, shit. Yeah. So even high, so now we, we transfer to high school. High school, uh, no, I'm not doing the band. My dad bought my first. He ended up buying me a trumpet. I had a box. I was the only one in school with a, cause everybody you know rent used to rent. Uh, you know, you get to take home the school instruments. My dad bought me a box. I told I told the teacher and uh, teacher in middle school, you can keep it, bro. I ain't doing no band, and I'm that. So now I'm going to high school. As I transition to high school. I know I don't want to be in the band. I'm starting to like music a little more, but I'm still baseball. Is, I feel like baseball is my way out. Ninth grade year, freshman as a freshman, I win Mr. Baseball. Mm. You feel me? Like over all the and this and I'm, I'm transferring to a new school out of different zones, so I was like the new student. So it's like you got to think about the 12th graders who have been promos who have been there. Like I was that guy in baseball. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But in the back of my mind, I like music, so I took a music appreciation class. Mm. So it's not the band, but it's music appreciation class. And what kind of shit are they teach you in there? Like classical and like uh, all different types of music? Nah, it was it was it was more so just learning identifying music notes or learning how mm. to read music on paper. Right. But I end up meeting this dude named Demetrius. And cause at this time, he was the only one he was like, bro, yeah, I got my shit on the CD. And I was like, How you get your shit on the CD? I was still rapping on karaoke with a tape, you know, would get an instrumental, get a tape, listen to a tape, you know, and hook something up to the tape to the where it transfers to the CD. Right. So he was like, Man, you gotta get this Adobe dish, Adobe edition, one point five. Ninth grade year. Adobe, but I like that you Adobe, say Adobe. Yeah, yeah Adobe Edition. <laughs> Adobe Edition 1.5. And that's when I started recording myself. That's when I started recording myself. Mm. So uh, now I'm recording myself. I got it on CDs. Um, we're, going, we're going up higher now. Now in baseball, I'm starting to lose focus. Because mm. I like I like the music, but I'm shy. Don't nobody know I rap. But and me. baseball's got to take a lot of discipline too, right? You're like discipline. working your ass off or did you just were you getting by on natural talent? I was I was getting my own natural talent. Mm. I, I had been playing baseball since I was four. Right. You see what I'm saying? So by high school, like I, I'm good, but now I'm starting to smoke weed, so I can't mm. get to them ball. You know, smoking <laughs> weed. I'm in, you know I'm starting to I'm jumping off the porch in right. high school, but I'm still loving music, man. I'm uh, I'm in the studio. I'm still I'm recording myself. Uh, my dad bought me a Toshiba. Remember, the, I said it right. The Toshiba. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. One. Old computers. I had a Toshiba. Okay. But the Toshiba had a built-in microphone on it. Like I'm not even knowing. So I would play an instrumental. That's I think when uh, Bear Share. Mm. Bear Share was hot. Lime Wire. Yeah. I would go in there and just download instrumentals and just rap over them in front of the computer with no mic because the mic I would turn. The, I would have like Apple headphones. Uh, I don't, yeah, Apple headphones. It's like the Apple, the first Apple. The first Apple, like, I would have those headphones, I would put them in, and I would rap, you know what I mean? And I would convert those over to a CD, you feel me? And it's like 11th grade, 11th, 12th grade, I get in my first studio. But I don't get in the first studio, and I'm not going there for a session. I'm just going there because my best friend at the time, Jerry, he was like, bro, uh, my stepdad, man, he fooled with Mr. Big Time. Mr. Big Time had this song, Check My Foot, Work, Check My Foot, Work. He ain't got D, and that shit had, like, it was in the ATL movie. Snap music era? Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Like, around that time. Sounds like, so. I got me some bathing yeah. names. <laughs> that family? Uh, around that time, <laughs> yeah, though, yeah. like, it's got to be around, like, 04. Yeah, yeah. You feel me, like, 04. Oh, okay, so that's real early. That's, uh, like, Lil John type nah, era. No, nah, no, I take that back. It's, like, because I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, like, probably, like, 07. Okay, like, yeah, I haven't yeah. graduated yet. Yeah, yeah. Like, 07. Um, yeah, so we doing that. But I go in the studio. As uh, really working, he just brought me up there. Nobody knew I rap. I'm just observing. You know what I'm saying? I know I record myself. Uh, That's step one in Atlanta. It's yeah. not about like you actually recording in the studio. It's about you having a homie who's in the studio that lets you be in the studio long enough that you might be able to hop yeah, on at some like, point. You yeah. Feel me? yeah. So Mr. Big Time, he that guy. So he don't mind me being at the studio. So I'm up there just soaking game, and it might I might have been up there for at least three months before I told anybody I could rap. Mm. So, you know, three months that I might have been like that an uh, intern, but not even knowing I'm an intern at that time. You know what I mean? Going from uh, my mama hated me being up there, but that's what I wanted to do. Cause at this time I done quit the baseball, the coach getting on my nerve, and I just like 
I, this is what I want to do now. I'm mm. starting to let my buddies know, like, bro, I want to be a rapper. You and know what I'm saying? Who are the goats to you at that point? Who are you looking at? Like, these are the fucking guys. These are who, who are motivating me to make music. These are the flyest dudes that I want to have their lifestyle. Uh, who are you looking at? High school, I'm looking at Fabulous. Mm. I'm looking at Jeezy. I'm looking at Tilt uh, and Boosie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And Boosie. So, uh... I forgot where I was at. But, yeah, so now we were, I'm in the studio and working. So three months I'm in the studio. Right. So out of three months, so I hear my boy Mun, he making beats. He a chef now. Mun making beats. I'm like, bro, I can write on it. I think I sound hard on this beat. He let me go in there and get on the beat. I go crazy. 